Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. I am here to review the SpongeBob episode Love That Squid requested by Mare Bear 62990. By the way, she has a channel and just like me, she is a huge SpongeBob fan. She even does some SpongeBob reviews on her channel. So please check out her channel, you guys. I will leave a link to her channel below. Love That Squid is about when Squidward, he falls in love with this other squid. And so when he asks her out, Squidward gets all nervous. He starts to get panicky. So guess what? Squidward goes on a pretend date with Spongebob. Okay, so this is a pretty polarizing episode. Some people can't stand this episode. Some people love this episode. I know I know this is like some of the fans' favorite episodes of Spongebob ever. And some are meh, you know, they're they're like an okay side and there could be some that like this episode. In my opinion, I like Love That Squid. It's not a great episode, but I do like it. The thing that I'm very iffy about with this episode, though, my major problems, and it does bring down my grade big time, not uh, just to the point where I'm just liking it, but the big issue I've always had with Love That Squid is just the awkwardness of Squidward, even if it's a pretend date. Just Spongebob dressing up as a girl, I'm sorry. And then the way Spongebob does his girl voice, it does annoy me after a while. I'm not going to lie. And then more awkward things do happen in this episode that kind of make me go, oh, okay. <laughs> but not in a bad way. It's just kind of in a, oh, it kind of... Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but I do like this episode. It is a funny episode. I do get some nice laughs out of it. Some of the bits with Spongebob and Square on their pretend date with Spongebob in the woman clothing. That was pretty funny. I actually did laugh hard, such as when <laughs> Square was driving around Spongebob and it, it was hilarious. There are some hilarious moments. Patrick's part in this episode, to be honest, was unnecessary to me. And really, nothing much happens in this episode. Like, if you're a person that's, that has never seen this episode in your whole life, uh, you're really not missing much at all. Nothing much happens in this episode. It's a simple episode. I could tell you the whole episode, but I would feel like I'd be a spoiler pansy, so I'm not going to do that. Overall, I do like Love That Squid. It's a decent episode. It's a good episode. I like it. I thought it had some hilarious moments. Although the big issue is just the awkwardness. And I'll be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the ending of this episode though. I'm gonna give Love That Squid a solid and decent rating of a 7 out of 10. Tunnel of Glove is once again requested by Mare Bear 62990 Once again, please check out her channel, link down below. Tunnel of Glove is about when Pearl and Spongebob are forced to go on the ride together at the Tunnel of Glove. They're stuck there, 
and so they must remain there until help is on the way. I'll be honest, it's a hilarious episode. My flaws with this episode one is Pearl. Excuse my language, Pearl is a bitch. I just did not appreciate her attitude at all and I just couldn't stand Pearl. But then once Spongebob scared her out of her mind, I really enjoyed it from there and I'm all like, thank you Spongebob, finally Pearl is not being such a bitch for once. Ugh. Okay, and then there's the awkwardness of Pearl's friends making fun of her and Spongebob being boyfriend and girlfriend. Are you kidding me? Okay, we know Spongebob acts like a child, but for God's sakes, he's an adult. Spongebob is an adult. Pearl is a teenager. That's my big issue. The one with Pearl being angry, that was just like a minor little issue. But this huge issue with me was just... Uh, that awkwardness. Spongebob's an adult. Pearl's a teenager. The fact that the friends are making fun of him being boyfriend and girlfriend just creates awkwardness. And I did not like it. It doesn't affect my score as much as the awkwardness of love that Squid did though. So it is a really superb episode. It would have been perfect if it weren't for those two issues. Mainly the Pearl and Spongebob boyfriend girlfriend awkwardness thing. But, it is really funny. The humor in this episode is, oh my goodness, some of the funniest moments I've ever seen in Spongebob history. Patrick, Patrick, he is just so stupid. Patrick had one of the funniest roles I've ever seen. Some people were annoyed with Patrick here. Because Patrick kept screwing things up. He kept screwing and screwing and screwing up things. That's what made it funny. It was hilarious to me. But to some people, it was repetitive and it was getting on their nerves. And I definitely understand their points there. But to me, it was hilarious. I was turning red. And Patrick was probably the best part of this whole film. He really made me laugh. This is one of the funniest roles with Patrick in it, in my opinion. Ending is... <laughs> oh my gosh. Ending is so stupid. But once again... It was just hilarious. It's it's a funny episode. If you want to watch this episode just for the last but not, and not really focus on the plot and all that good stuff, then watch this episode. If you love Patrick, watch this episode. Uh, uh, the humor was really good. It does have a couple of issues, but overall, I just really enjoyed Tunnel of Glove, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode, like and share this video. I will always have TAGA POWER!